today I'm doing a speed sensor replacement for my 2015 Scion FRS. I searched uh, pretty much everywhere, couldn't find a video for it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it for you guys so that there's something out there for reference. First thing we want to do before we jack up the car is chalk the tires. Next thing you want to do is obviously uh, go ahead and break the lug nuts loose. Um, I have a 17 mil on here and I'm going to use a portion of my jack as a breaker bar to help break it loose since I torque my lug nuts. Next thing we'll do is jack up the car. I like to use the um, differential to, as the uh, spot for my jack and then I put um, I leave that there and I put two jack stands on both sides uh, just to make it extra secure. If you're like me and you don't have a impact, um, I just use a drill uh, to get the lug nuts off completely and I have a half inch adapter. So I plug that into my 17. Tighten that up and it just makes it a little easier to get the lug nuts off quickly. With the tire off, we can go ahead and examine our hub. Um, this is the rear right uh, speed sensor that we'll be replacing. And it's the same thing on the rear left as well. This right here is your speed sensor. It goes all the way up into your trunk via this cable here. And there's a little 10 mil that attaches this to the hub. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this 10 mil. Should just come right out very easily. So if not, then you can take a pair of pliers and just barely wiggle this right here um, to make it come out of the slot. You don't wanna force this, um, even though it is a bad uh, sensor, but there is our destroyed sensor. So once you get back in the trunk, you can just uh, pull up over here and you should see that the uh, connector is right back here. I've already um, removed it here, but you just press on this tab right here on the back and it should just come right out. Now once you've um, pulled this through, all of these tabs can be pulled out. Um, as you can see, there's a couple of them that I haven't uh, removed just yet, but we will take care of that. You can just go ahead and remove this and throw it away. So now that you have that removed, you can go ahead and uh, remove the remaining clips here because uh, your new port part from Toyota should have all of these clips. So once you've removed your sensor and all of the clips, you can go ahead and install your new part. Um, this one I purchased from Toyota of Dallas, um, and you'll get it in this nice little box. I'll put the uh, SKU and other information in the description. Um, so this is what you get here. So there's your sensor, be very careful with that. And here you'll notice that we have all of our clips um, already on the sensor. So we'll go ahead and install it. You can start by uh, feeding the sensor through the hole or the uh, connector through this hole here all the way up. And just pop it through the hole and there you go. And then you can go through and uh, connect all the clips. We can go ahead and install this bracket uh, into the screw holes that we previously removed the other one from. Next, we will uh, go ahead and put this back in the uh, sanction spot here. You don't want to tighten it too much, but you definitely want it to be in there. Going back into the trunk, um, now that we have this wire pulled through, we can just go ahead and clip it back in. And there you have it. Now for those of you running uh, open flash tablet, you can use uh, the ECU fault codes to go ahead and clear it. So 
So there's your uh, 2158, clear the code, and you should be good to go. So there you have it. That's how you install a new ABS wheel speed sensor on your Scion FRS. Thanks for watching.